Hi, it's Amanda, and I wanted to come to you briefly on the topic, and that topic today is shift. Um, and what I mean by shifting is not staying in one place too long. I don't know if you've heard this cliche that um, a moving target is hard to hit. Well, the bottom line is in Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, it tells us that there's a set time for every purpose under heaven. And many times, if we're not careful, we'll stay in a place longer than the Lord intends us to stay in that place. Um, again, I'm just giving my testimony. I don't come on here and claim to be a perfect vessel, but I'm willing to be perfected by the Lord. So I get on these scopes to offer some encouragement because the word tells us, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. So what I'm talking about today is shifting. You can shift by sowing a seed. You can shift by praying. You know, the word also encourages us to pray without ceasing. And the bottom line, prayer is our a weaponry. Prayer is our defense. Prayer is our offense. You know, um, when you go in secret and pray, the Lord will reward you openly. Understand that the Lord never intended for us to be defeated to be bullied or tormented by demonic principalities for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities the rulers of darkness you know this is in ephesians 6. i'm no biblical scholar but i'm trying to tell you i got a testimony and my testimony is i was going to hell you know until i learned how to shift until i learned how to humble myself in the sight of the lord so he can lift lift me up you know in james 4 that's what it tells us to do is to humble ourselves in the sight of the lord you know we have to learn how to shift you know a lot of these witches and warlocks out of here understand you know how to concentrate and saturate and that doesn't mean they have the power but it means are you utilizing your tools are you beckoning heaven to war on your behalf you know angels hearken to the voice of the lord you know it's important to repent, it's important to forgive, and it's also important to shift. Why are you not experiencing the complete victory that the Lord has for you? Could it be that you're not shifting? Could it be that you're not exercising your discernment? You know, get around other believers and have accountability prayer partners who can stand in the gap for you for prayer. One can put a thousand to flight, two could put ten thousand to flight. Are you shifting? Who is in your circle of influence? And understand that this is important. You can't be having fellowship with folks who are communing with your enemies. You know, we're called to love, you know, when a man's ways please God, it makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. But the point of the matter is, if you have folks in your circle who are like in constant fellowship with folks that don't like you, who are against the plan of God for your life, then you're going to experience problems. It's going to be hard to shift. They got you on a leash, basically. They got a muzzle on your mouth. They can gag you anytime they want because they can have conversations and gossip and slander, you know, and stir up these, you know, principalities and spirits of confusion. Is this designed to bring any type of, you know, discord among the flock? No. I'm telling you right now, the Bible tells us in Amos, how can two walk together unless they be in agreement? You know about Judas in the Bible. You know about Peter denying Jesus three times. The point of the matter is, you can be located by your enemies, by somebody, a secret spy in your circle. You know, pray to the Lord and ask the Lord, deliver me from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. Sometimes a good way to shift is to identify who's really for you and who's against you. Even though in Romans 8 it says, if God be for us, who can be against us? Understand that you need to learn how to shift. You don't want to stay in the same spot for five years, ten years, when the Lord is desiring more for your life. Have you wrote out a vision and made it plain? And Habakkuk 2 it tells you, that's not a spell. The Lord tells us to come up with a mission statement, a vision. Without a vision, the people perish. Without a vision, the people cast off restraint. you got to be willing to shift. Faith without works is dead, but talk is not cheap. Let me tell let me say that again. The Bible says that faith without works is dead, but I'm telling you right now. The Lord is calling us to call things that be not as though they were. You've got to shift your conversation, shift your attitude, shift your desires, and make sure they're in alignment with what the Lord is calling you to do. A shifting is going to be necessary during this season. You can shift by forgiving somebody. Are you carrying around bitterness and hate in your heart? This can hinder the move of God in your life for this next season. Learn how to shift. Learn how to humble yourself before the Lord. I'm still working on this stuff, but I'm telling you, the sooner I learned how to shift through my attitude and recognition, Organizing a, 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 a ship that has sunk, then I can say, all right, can start building. You know, look at the Titanic. They thought this was one of the strongest ships in the world. But yet, one little iceberg, one little crack, one little breach was able to bring that whole thing down. They didn't even have enough boats, you know, rescue boats on a ship to accommodate everyone who was on board. 
are, who's building your boat? You know, unless the Lord build a house, they labor in vain that build it. Unless the Lord keep the city, the watchmen wake it but in vain. When you understand that, you're able to shift. You're able to see the things that the Lord is trying to whisper in your ear and tell you. Are you exercising discernment? Or are you just seeing what you want to see? Sometimes we see what we want to see. We hear what we want to hear. But the Bible says, he that have an ear to hear, let him hear. And are you discerning things out of your flesh? We walk by faith and not by sight. Understand there's more than what meets the eye. The things that are seen are temporal. The things that are not seen are eternal. It is time to shift. It is time to make peace and say, I forgive. It's time to say bye-bye to some folks. It's time to say hello to some folks. You need to be able to shift here. Shifting is vital. Shifting is vital in family relationships. Shifting is vital when it comes down to career. Uh, shifting is really important when it comes to our faith because we go from faith to faith and glory to glory. Like I said, I'm just on here encouraging somebody. I don't know who that was for. This message may not be for everybody, but it's definitely for someone. And the Lord wants you to know it's time to shift. It's time to humble ourselves. It's time to really pray and assemble. And it's time to say, okay, Lord, what would you have me to do during this season? Inquire of the Lord and see what shift he wants for you to do today. Well, until next time, shalom.